beings life. People lose their lives on the roads. People die. They leave orphans. They leave widows. They leave us with the dead. And therefore, Madam Speaker, what I'm saying is that this particular motion is extremely important because it touches on human life. I'm saying this because I'm aware there are two, uh, two I would say two people involved. One is the human being driving the vehicle, and the other one is not a human being, but the vehicle itself. If the vehicle is in good condition, and the person driving it, we would probably minimize or eliminate this bad death accidents. I'm aware, Madam Speaker, of the saying that accidents is caused, not that it hap they, they happen. Somebody causes accident. Either the vehicle, the bad vehicle causes the accident, or the bad driver causes the accident. But these are things which can be prevented. If a vehicle is in good condition, to a large extent we are safe. Why is the vehicle not in good condition? Certainly, police are on the road, they see the vehicles. They pass them for good condition when they are bad, and the vehicle goes, probably prepare, preparing the vehicle to kill along the way. This is something that should be looked at very keenly, so that the vehicle itself is properly taken care of and maintained. This is something that can be done. Turning to the driver himself, is this driver roadworthy? Is he really the kind of person that should be driving a vehicle with people inside it? Perhaps he's drunk. And then, along the way, he passes all the road checking system that is um, on the road. Now, if, if this driver is taken care of on the way and probably arrested, the accident will be, will be avoided. So what I'm trying to say is that the, the NTSA should do their work. They should carry out the proper exercise they are supposed to carry out so that we can avoid these deaths. Otherwise, if we do not take action, we will be constantly mourning our dead on matters which can be avoided. Madam Speaker, this is a very important issue, and I support Madam Waku Wesmewa for bringing this motion, because it's a very important one. I do support the motion, Madam. Thank you. The Honorable Member for Embu County, Honorable Njoki, also known as Double N. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And I wish to take this opportunity to support the motion brought by Honorable Naomi Wako uh, regarding the issue of accidents on our roads. And we know, Honorable Speaker, that accidents don't just happen, they are caused. And when we go down in our history, we can locate some of the main causes of accidents on our roads. One of them being uh, a lot of speeding uh, that uh, initially we had uh, uh, the issue of uh, uh, having regulations on what is the speed limit of our public vehicles. We know that also, Madam Speaker, we have issues related to drugs. And uh, when I talk about drugs, we know that alcohol is one of the most abused drugs. And some of our drivers uh, drive the vehicles under uh, the influence of alcohol. We also know that sometimes we are tempted as drivers to use our mobile phones while we are driving. So sometimes we lose focus on the roads while we are driving. Madam Speaker, it is the high time that the NTSA or the authority now comes to the rescue of this country so that we don't experience loss of lives uh, on our roads. We know the school going children, we know our mothers and our fathers that are using our roads every day are some of the, uh, are some of the victims uh, on our roads uh, through the road accidents. And therefore, Madam Speaker, it is the high time that uh, the regulations 
uh, the, especially the NTSA through the uh, Ministry of Transport and, uh, and Road, ensure that all public vehicles are in good condition, how often they go for uh, their uh, service, whether they are roadworthy, because if they are not regularly checked, it means we shall continue having uh, road accidents uh, on our roads. Madam Speaker, allow, allow me to also uh, indicate that uh, we are approaching our Christmas festive season, and that is uh, when all the vehicles, including the private and the, tra and the public vehicles, are on our roads. And that is when we realize a lot of accidents happening on our roads. NTSA, through the Ministry of uh, Transport uh, and Roads, should ensure that all the vehicles that are on the roads have been uh, uh, tested, they have been looked into in terms of uh, maintenance, because some of them lack maintenance for quite a long time. We don't know when the last service was done to our vehicles, and when I talk about our vehicles, I also talk about border borders, because they also need uh, to know that the uh, border borders should also uh, have uh, uh, been checked and should have the... Uh, should have been serviced well before they are on the road. And also, our roads, how roadworthy are our roads? How is our infrastructure on our roads? When the drivers are on our roads, are the roads well maintained? And this is the question, Madam Speaker, that we need to ask ourselves, so that even as we blame probably the drivers, we also need to uh, look into the roads, how well have they been maintained because of our public transport? And therefore, Madam Speaker, as I uh, support this motion of Naomi Wako, I want also to state that uh, during this period of Christmas, let all the policemen be alert on the road. They check the speed limit of the vehicles, and especially in M County, Madam Speaker, and in Meru, where we have Mogoka and uh, Mira. Those vehicles move in uh, very high speeds and they are never ever stopped by the traffic policemen. And we don't know whether they are above the law or whether they have special arrangements with the policemen on the roads. And they have caused numerous accidents on our roads, both in Meru and in Embu. Madam Speaker, this motion has come the right time when the Ministry of Transport and Roads should take charge. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Honorable Member for Tarbo Constituency, Honorable Janet Sutiene. Thank you, Madam Speaker. So let me just allow to let uh, Honorable Jen Kihara, she is in dispense and so she's able to seek permission in advance so that she can come to the house. Thank you. You may proceed, Honorable Member for Tarbo. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I want to add my voice uh, to this motion and thank Honorable Wako for bringing it in 